everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my sephora oh my god it like matches my shirt my sephora vib sale haul i am wearing the majority of the products i hauled on my face today but basically i actually went to sephora to take advantage of my 20 percent off discount for those of you who are not familiar with the vib sale um they usually happen twice a year once in the spring and once in the fall and sephora will give you a discount based on the tier you are so if you're a beauty insider you get 10 percent off if you're a vib you get 15 percent off and if you're a rouge like me and you have problems and you spend too much money on makeup then you get 20% off but basically yeah I am going to go through all the products I bought um, give you kind of like my first impressions of the things that I have tried so yeah if you want to see everything don't forget to please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when I post and without further ado let's go ahead and get on into it um, I'd like to apologize for the lighting. It is overcast today and kind of windy, but I'm not mad at it. I definitely will take this over the sweltering heat and we are in November after all. So this is um, how it should be. <coughs> so yeah, um, I'm just going to start pulling things out of the bag and I might as well just go through the stuff that I am currently wearing. So I'm actually in the middle of filming another video right now and that is a wear test on this guy. I purchased the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Skin Finish foundation this is a stick foundation and if you want to hear really my full thoughts on it watch my next video and i will tell you all about it but so far upon application i feel like my skin looks decent i will just say that um it's definitely a light medium coverage it's not a medium to full at all if you're looking for a full coverage stick foundation definitely go for the hourglass but this is very blendable very creamy um i have the shade 300 neutral latte looks like this i will say their shade range is awesome i went in store so i could try out my shade and figure out what I was and yeah this is what it looks like you do get a pretty good amount of product for $39 yeah more to come on this in my next video but so far I like it okay let's talk about this guy right here this I was so excited for fun fact I've said this in a couple of my videos before or maybe only one but the first ever palette I bought with my own money like the first ever um like eyeshadow palette I distinctly remember it was March of 2016 I was in Orlando Florida and I remember seeing this palette and I was like oh my god I have to have it I remember thinking it would be such a perfect palette like once I had this palette I wouldn't need anything else and lord um I didn't really know anything back then about how much I would end up getting but this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette an OG classic I will always hold on to this and I do really like it um over the years it's, the shades have become less creamy and less pigmented but that's to be expected with age but this is still a really good palette the scent's still there it's still awesome Too Faced does scented products really really well so I had to pick up the pumpkin spice limited edition warm and spicy eyeshadow palette this is like a holiday exclusive I guess and oh my god it's so good like the full experience i know Too faced can be like a nan brand here and there but this is an amazing palette like i love the packaging it smells like pumpkin spice but actually it smells more like their chocolate vanilla typical scented shadows than anything else but it is such a beautiful palette like look at this look at the array of colors like you get so many shades like this is a color story i can get on board with and everything i have on my lids right now comes from this palette obviously the shade fall vibes like oh my god i had to pick i'm wearing also a la mode i love you a latte i'm wearing warm and cozy these are the shades i'm wearing right now on my lids but you can really get so many looks i absolutely love these they're very very creamy very pigmented like look how beautiful those mattes are they truly blend out so well and this foiled metallic like all over my lid is so stunning and that's why when i was looking at buying this palette like the color story really justified it for me because it has so many shades that i don't really have in my other palettes so i was like this is a win like i have to get it so yeah i am so excited about this everything blended out so nicely there's minimal fallout but they're so creamy and so pigmented like i haven't been this impressed with eyeshadow in a while honestly so i definitely recommend it i know they're kind of selling out of it every time i go online sometimes they're sold out sometimes they're not so i would just recommend when you see it if you see it definitely get it it's worth it it's an amazing amazing palette so 
yeah, I'm so excited to hold on to this and to wear it and bring it to LA over the holidays. So I bought this powder. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. This is not a new powder. It came out, I believe, in like January of 2019. And um, I love Fenty Beauty products. I think Rihanna is literally amazing um, as a musical artist, especially like, oh my God. But um, she is an icon in the makeup world now because I feel like she really just revolutionized inclusivity in brands and she really showed all the brands how to come up with a good shade range and to cater to every single person on this planet who wants to wear makeup so it is amazing and i got the shade cashew i thought i would get the shade butter that's a shade that i always thought that i would get and butter is the light to medium one but since there isn't a true translucent shade when i went in store i was like okay maybe this is a little bit too light and i know sometimes like i can struggle with flashbacks so i was like why don't i just get like a more tinted powder this is the one for medium to tan skin tone so it's not like super dark or anything this the packaging i will say i know a lot of people talked about how scented this was i don't really smell a scent this is the shade it's obviously a more tan powder very 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 creamy it blends out so nicely it truly is a light as air powder it's what i have on my face today and i will say my face doesn't look the best because i applied a liquid blush on top of the powder which i shouldn't have done so ignore that but i'm excited to try this product out more when i applied it today um i didn't have enough like in the pan so i was just kind of like digging in but i should have just known that i could shake it and have a lot to work with it does have talc in it so if you're averse to that ingredient maybe don't use this there are a lot of great talc free powders but it is light as air it is a photo soft finish oh it comes with a an actual stopper Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe I'll try to put that in after. But yeah, the packaging isn't probably the best. It's kind of messy, but I'm going to apply a little bit more like on my T-zone areas just so you guys can see. It does a great job of just kind of like smoothing everything out. And I do like how they have a bunch of different shades. If a line doesn't really have a true translucent shade, I'll tend to go for the more tinted option. But yeah so far so good i'm excited to try this out more and i do really like it it definitely is a lighter powder so that's awesome okay next up we have the milk makeup flex highlight this is a pearly silky highlighter that hydrates to plump skin so formula goes on smooth without settling leaving a next level glow i have the shade um lit which is the champagne shade and yeah I absolutely love this highlighter. It's one that I've had my eye on for a while. A lot of these products are ones that I've wanted to buy before, but I didn't, obviously, so I knew that I had to get it in this sale. And this is such a stunning highlighter. Like, you can see how blinding it is. And it just, oh my God. Look, look at that reflect. That is insane. Can you see that from back here? Like, holy crap. It is such a soft formula gives you such a beautiful glow and it's not chunky it's not glittery it just is blinding so if you want a really nice blinding highlight like go for this the formula is really beautiful it does actually melt into your skin even before you set your face i found that to be the case and yeah i really love this and i know i have like a thousand highlighters but everyone is a little bit different so um i'm always looking to get the next best one and i definitely feel like this is one of the best that sephora has right now okay let's go on to this guy right here i was so excited to try out rare beauty or at least um a couple of their products actually i only bought two things i was really debating between a lot but i bought the soft pinch matte liquid blush in the shade love i know joy which is their dewy one is really popular and bliss which is like their lighter pink matte is a really popular one but i wanted love because it is like a nice terracotta shade and i don't really have a lot of these types the shades in my collection so for the sake of diversifying everything and for the sake of even adding a liquid blush because i don't have a liquid blush at all um i wanted to buy this and rare beauty is an amazing brand to support it's by selena gomez and it's in sephora they have she has a bunch of great products that really cater to the everyday woman it's not really like full face like heavy glam makeup it's really more so for those who want to do a little bit something here and there and have a little natural flush like she has a great array of products and i love that i think like one percent or a percentage of her sales goes to supporting mental health so i love that she uses her platform and her brand to do something that's more than makeup because at the end of the day um it is more than makeup you know makeup is great for so many different reasons and i love makeup but it's always good when it can be socially responsible as well people really talked about these liquid blushes saying they were the best things ever and i was dumb and i totally forgot i had purchased this so when i set my face with powder i was like so i just decided to apply it on top to see what it would be like because i 
sure that's not gonna be the first time I make that mistake because I'm so used to just setting my face and going in with blush. But this is the packaging, it's so beautiful. I also love that all of her packaging is designed with like ergonomic like handles or caps or whatever. She wanted to really make it a point to make her products easily opened for people who struggle to grip onto things or to hold things. So I really applaud her on that as well. And this is a terracotta and it is so pigmented. They are not kidding when one dot really just goes a whole way. Like look at look at my cheeks. Like I look almost crazy. Please ignore the patchiness from what I just explained, but this is such a beautiful formula. Like you get a nice little doe foot. You can either apply it directly onto your brush or onto your cheeks. I found that when I applied it on my brush, maybe this wasn't the best one to use because it's more for powder. I kind of became a little bit patchy, but if you apply it on your cheeks and then you go in, I find that to be a little bit better. That's what I did on this cheek, but look at one dot right here. I'm just gonna show you how far that goes, okay? just blending it and blending it and blending it I can really take this across my whole hand and obviously this is like a darker shade but it gives you such a cute little like flush I'm excited to try this out on a day where I'm not a dodo bird and I remember to put it on before powder and I know more or less now how the formula works and you can see even though it is a cream and I blended it out it is matte and I wanted a matte one obviously because I have oily skin so yeah but I would even think that the dewy one would be really really pretty as well so yeah I'm excited to try this out more. Okay, let's talk about my lips now. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. I have heard so many things and I legit, I'm not even kidding, I have had this in my loves list for like two years now. I've heard so many beauty gurus talk about how great this lipstick is. Jaclyn Hill, um, I think she's the one who talks about it the most, but I've always heard it to be an amazing, amazing liquid lipstick and I've been wearing it. it so nice it doesn't transfer but it feels like absolutely nothing i am in love with this formula and i would definitely buy more i have the shade got a light which is like a light kind of brown and i love a brownie nude i'm just not sure if this is the most flattering on me i don't know if my whole face looks a little bit weird because of that blush and then maybe my brows my eyeshadow so I don't know, today was a day of trying things for sure. So I'm definitely gonna have to wear this a little bit more to see how I truly feel. But formula is a 10 out of 10. I know Smashbox has so many other colors that are really, really beautiful. They have a great array of nudes. So I'm so glad I finally took the plunge and bought this. It has that nice kind of triangle doe foot applicator. Sorry, this, um, Cut right here is for my guitar, so don't worry about that. But this is a nice doe foot applicator. Like, it is so creamy, so pigmented. Like, wow, wow. Another lip product that I figured I might as well just try on camera with you guys that I bought is the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine gloss lip lacquer you guys probably know sugar sugar is like mark jacobs like best-selling lip gloss um it's like a light nude pink and i actually do have that one just in a travel size but i love a brown nude so i purchased the shade work it and fun fact these glosses and i actually think a lot of mark jacobs products are um even more discounted so i got this for 20 bucks which is amazing for mark jacobs this is what the packaging looks like i have been i've said it in my past videos but i have really been into lip gloss but let's just go ahead and apply this this bad boy shall we let's see what this looks like and I swatched it in person but I wanted to just apply it on here which maybe not the best idea because I'm about to go out and run some errands and put on a mask but for this video this formula I will say is really really nice so I know that I will like that oh mm-hmm yeah This truly is one of the best lip gloss formulas. It's not too sticky. It's minty, but it's so smooth. They have some shimmery shades and they have like opaque shades like this where you just want to throw it on and be good to go. But this is going front and center in my lip gloss collection and I love it. It's so comfortable and I know from personal experience that these last a really good amount of time. So definitely go out and buy that. I know that I mentioned the Fenty Beauty glosses are it as well. Those are a little bit more thicker, a little bit more tacky. These are a little bit more ceramy and remind me of the um, Morphe ones a lot, which I had said in my last video that I really like that formula so much. This is so good and I actually do like that color. Wow. Okay. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, now let's go into my things that I can't really try on or I haven't really tried on. I am a dodo bird. Oh, I'm always a dodo bird. But I meant to buy this to try it on and use it for this video, but I forgot. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Foundation Brush. And if you know me, um, I, oh my God, I thought it was empty for a second. I was like, thank God, no. If you know me, you know that I, nine times out of 10, will apply, even though literally my mic is attached 
here's my mic it's attached to all of my sponges which this is like an old like plant pot but i my small bath and body works candle jar was not fitting all my sponges so i have them in here but nine times out of ten especially when i'm running out the door i need fast makeup i do not have time to go out wet a sponge and then bounce it all over my face a brush is just way more convenient um and to me more sanitary especially oh fuck especially on the go i just broke it Meh. anyway here's a brush out of the unicarton but um yeah i love a good foundation brush oh, oh my god. god i opened this the wrong way this is this is i'm sorry i should be fired not that this is my job but i should get it together but i had heard really really good things about this and i love a good foundation brush like my it cosmetics one my morphe one is really good i love discovering a new foundation brush and this is great because it is small enough i feel like to travel with where you can also use it for concealer so if you don't want to bring a separate concealer brush i feel like this could do the trick for you it's got a really unique shape it's cruelty free synthetic bristles which synthetic brushes are always better for cream and liquid products so that's why i always think they're better than like a duo fiber in my opinion or a stipple brush for foundation it says it's a cruelty free foundation brush packed with soft silky bristles that build blend and buff and by the way pretty much everything that i bought here today has really great online reviews which i know Know sometimes i buy things that don't but for the most part all of these have really really good reviews so it says something it says something i love how this feels and i love this shape it's definitely so unique compared to like a standard flat top which this is what i use today or like even a rounded top like these this is also one of my holy grail foundation brushes but yeah i like this shape because i feel like this can really allow you to get like in your corners when you're blending out concealer i know sometimes like today when i buffed in my concealer with my flat top it kind of gets a little bit like patchy in the corner area because it's not able to really get in there and buff it out as precisely but yeah oh my goodness this is really really dense and i am really looking forward to using this i'm so dumb that i didn't do it today but it feels really really nice and i feel like you could also use it for cream blush because it is super dense i am going to wash it first obviously i always recommend you at least um use a spray to wash your brushes down before you go in with it okay moving on to a couple of things that i cannot try on but i bought the first aid beauty pure skin face cleanser this is actually the first time that i have purchased the full size version because i ran out of my travel size i love first aid beauty i'll say it in every single video if i have to they make some of the best skincare the price point is right for a high-end brand the ingredients are great they're safe for sensitive skin they're fragrance free i have put so many people on to the ultra repair cream so many people like in my personal life it is my holy grail night cream i'm almost out of my fourth ray beauty am to the pm gel cleanser which is my typical like cleanser when i'm not using my corez scrub or my dr brandt um face wash that's like an acne face wash i knew that when i ran out of that i would have to go in with this guy this is like so good it suds up really nicely it cleanses your skin really beautifully it's fragrance free it's very very creamy so you do get that nice lather but it does not strip your skin so this would be great for anybody if i had to recommend just one cleanser i would recommend this guy because i know a lot of people love like the youth to the people gel cleanser sometimes gel cleansers can be stripping to people with dry skin so i find that like creamy cleansers are more universal i have oily skin and i love it so um would recommend this it is amazing another skincare holy grail this is my third third time third time purchasing this this is the kate somerville five percent benzoyl peroxide treatment i've spoken about this in my skincare routines um this is amazing this is like literally a lotion i'm not gonna use it because i'm still going through my one right now but i always have to have this on deck let me go get mine and i'll show you it's basically like a pump that looks like this you just do a little pump and then you treat it i use this as a spot treatment i do not use this as like a cream or a lotion that's way too harsh this is meant to really just be a targeted um treatment and i know salicylic acid is really popular i use salicylic acid um all the time not all the time but i use it mostly in the day if i really want to like attack a blemish but at nighttime this is what i go for um not every day but pretty much every other day on days where i I go in with my first aid beauty moisturizing cream so i will use this right before that and then on the alternating days i'll go in with a serum followed by a lighter kind of like serum -y moisturizer that's just what that was so weird did you guys see that thing floating that's just what works for my skin they say that you can use it up to twice a day and i actually used to do that but i don't anymore because i have a bunch of morning serums now i have a bunch of night serums a bunch of morning serums um but yeah i use this once every other day at night and i find that it's so good don't use it too much though because it can dry out your skin just use it enough but it is 
a holy grail for me and I don't see a day unless I stop getting pimples like all the time but I always get hormonal acne right here especially maskney now so this area is always like kind of meh and then between my brows as well this is a lifesaver I highly recommend it to anybody who wants a good effective treatment and it doesn't like sting or anything like the consistency is literally like a lotion it's like a little light cream you just blend it into your skin and it feels like a nice lightweight serum that obviously has the benzoyl peroxide benefit it doesn't really have a scent either so it's great okay my last product i bought is the inky list retinol skin um it's recommended for people 25 plus i turned 25 in a couple weeks so i used it like two nights ago so i'm counting this as something that i can use so anyway yeah if you're younger than 25 you probably don't need a retinol um but retinols are great um for helping prevent aging i don't have a retinol in my collection so i figured i would buy it especially since I'm about to be 25 anyway. It says, what's a retinol? It's a derivative of vitamin A that helps to promote skin renewal and smooth fine lines and wrinkles. So you only use it in the PM, you use it on cleansed skin. I am not quite familiar with what you can and cannot mix this with yet. So on the night that I did apply this, I just went in with this as my serum and then went with my first aid beauty moisturizer. Didn't bother with anything else because you know I didn't want my skin to be angry. Definitely a really light serum. It kind of has the same consistency as my Alpha Arbutin, which is also by the Inky List. It's $10, you really cannot go wrong. Um, I would suggest going in store to get it because I always see it sold out online. Use a pea size amount on your face and neck. If using alongside other serums, layer in order. And what that basically means is layer in order from thinnest to thickest consistency. Okay, and the last product that I have that I didn't buy, but I obviously have to include it still because I got it is the birthday gift. I figured why not talk about it? This is the one that I chose. You can choose between this milks kit and a Sol de Janeiro narrow set with like a couple of their bum bum creams but i am a good sucker for milk makeup and also little um mini things as well so yeah i have a mini kush mascara which is awesome i'm going to throw this into my travel bag because i'm excited to try it looks like this the Kush Mascara is infused with like CBD oil, so it's great for conditioning your lashes. I actually know that in my next BoxyCharm, I will be getting the waterproof Kush Mascara because it's one of the items that I chose. So I'm excited to try that out. And then I got this mini like cream blush. This is a mini lip and cheek. So you can swipe it onto your cheeks and your lips, which is also super awesome and versatile. You can use it as like a lip tint or just put it on here. I love products like that. Like you can obviously see this has a sheen compared to something like this, which is like dried down matte. I'm going to throw this in my travel bag as well. And then we have a little um, thing of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which is so cute. Actually, I was planning on taking my full size guy. I literally packed my full size into my travel bag, but I am probably not going to be wearing makeup every day that I'm in LA. So I don't even really need to bring this and I can just bring this instead. How cute. That worked out perfectly. All right, everybody, and that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my Sephora VAB sale haul. Leave me what you bought at the sale down below. Let me know if you tried any of these products or let me know what you are planning to buy at the sale. Let me know down below, and if you wanna see my full thoughts and my full roundup review after I do this wear test on the Huda Beauty Foundation, stay tuned for the next video because I will definitely be going into depth there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, please, if you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you in my next one.